think we're recording. So, hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. You want to see it, check the description. Uh, right now, I'm doing Elite Code series where I just solve and explain all of the problems in uh, YouTube videos. So, if you want to check out any other problems, just go ahead. So, right now, we're doing two sum two. Uh, the input array is sorted. So I already did a video on two sum one. You can go check that out. But basically what it is is we're given an array of numbers. You can read this if you want to. Um, and we have a target. So in this target, it would be nine. And we want to find two numbers in the array that add up to nine. So right, we have uh, two and seven. So we return the indexes, uh, indices of two and seven, right? Um, not exactly indices, but um, we're, we're, um, we're taking the length. We're doing it by length because you know how indices this would be zero, one, two, three. Uh, we're doing it kind of by length, so we do the first element and the second element. I don't know why they did that, but they wanted it that way for some reason. But um, so in the first uh, two sum, the array was not sorted, so you could see these numbers are sorted two, seven, eleven, fifteen. They're increasing, sorted in ascending order. You could see right there. Uh, in the first problem, they weren't sorted at all, so it could have been seven, two, fifteen, eleven. Right? That's not sorted, and it would say to find nine. And what we did is we'd have a hash map and we would just store the difference from the sum in the current element and then, you know, look for it in the array. Um, in this one, we don't even have to do that. This one's going to be a better solution because if the input array is sorted, we can do a kind of a trickier solution. Uh, this is a really popular method of solving algorithms. It's called using pointers, right? So we're going to be using an A pointer. And we're going to be using a B pointer to solve this problem. And A pointer is going to be uh, set to the beginning of the list which will be the smallest element of the array. Keep that in mind. And uh, the B pointer is going to be set to the end, right? So numbers of length uh, minus one, right? So basically what we're going to want to do is iterate while A pointer is less than or equal to B pointer because we're going to be ac accessing uh, the indices of the array or list using these A pointer and B pointers. Um, and if they meet, that means they're at the same element and we didn't even find a match or whatever. So we're going to calculate the sum of numbers of a pointer plus numbers of b pointer right sorry i'm having a tough time typing right now all right there we go and um then we're going to check if the sum is greater than target we're going to do a check if the sum is less than the target and then we're going to do a check well if the sum is equal to the target we're going to return our answer right we're going to return uh, new ints of uh, the indices, which we're going to do. It is the These are the indices, A pointer and B pointer are the indices, but we're going to have to do A pointer plus one and B pointer plus one because we're doing it by length for some reason, like I said earlier. And outside of it, after this loop is over, the final loop might access one of these conditions. So we might have to return uh, our array. Um, we're, we're still probably going to have to return our array, right? And, you know, when you return an array in Java, it's actually these brackets, so I have to fix that too. So I'll explain this in one second. Sorry, it's taking a little bit to type here. Um, there we go. So we're going to loop through. We have the pointer at the beginning and the pointer at the end. So the pointer is going to move. It's going to check. So it would check. We're looking for 9, right? And it would check the sum of 2 and 15, which is 17, right? So 17 is going to be greater than target. So how are we going to get our sum to be smaller, right? Sum is going to be 17. Sum is greater than target. We're looking for 9. Well, we're not going to increase the A pointer because if we increase the A pointer, it's going to take the element at the beginning. It's going to, A pointer is going to become 7, and 7 plus 15 is greater than 17. We're trying to decrease 17, right? So we're actually going to move the B pointer down closer to 2. So as we decrease B pointer, we're going to make our sum smaller, in more equal to the target. So if the sum is greater than target, all we're going to have to do is do B pointer minus equal one. We're going to move one element down the array. And if it's less than target, well, then we want to move one up the array to increase our sum. So hopefully that makes sense. I mean, that's pretty much the gist of this algorithm is just moving the A pointer uh, up one if you want your sum to be bigger and closer to the target and B pointer down one if you want to decrease it. And uh, if we run this, I think it might actually just work here, hopefully. Uh, new int. Oh yeah, we need these like brackets or whatever. Sorry about that. Uh, Java. Oh, I, I'm used to Python, but we're doing all these in Java, right? We have the expected output one two one two, and then we submit this, and it should work first try. But um, yeah, pointers are a really common way to do algorithms, especially 
uh, I learned in sorted. When you have a sorted array, always think about using pointers. That's when we use them the most, I'd say. So, you know, you have that because because we if we're sorted, we know we have a lot of information to go off. So if we sorted the beginning of the arrays, the smaller elements, smaller valued elements, uh, the h higher end of the arrays, the larger valued elements. So hopefully this makes sense when we sum up the small element with the large element. If we want the sum to be smaller, we're going to, you know, want our elements to be smaller. So we decrease B pointer. And uh, likewise, if we want the elements to be bigger, we increase uh, A pointer. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully I explained that. Trying to get better at these. Uh, you can check out other ones if you want a, you know, better explanation here. Maybe I could, you know, go through some more examples and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, hopefully you uh, got this. Please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitch if you want to see these live. And uh, thanks for watching. See ya.